Hey everyone, Jay and Angie here with Mountain Dog Companion hanging out with Cleo's litter. Day 16 here. Um, and these puppies are doing great. Cleo's a phenomenal mama mm -hmm. taking care of these pups. Everything's going very well. Um, and these guys are about as content and happy and mm. healthy as it gets. Um, and I just wanted to do a quick update here uh, just to kind of show you guys how they're doing, kind of show you where they're at, kind of show you uh, their last day on um, ENS. And so, and then we got some scent going on here today and we'll kind of get into that. So I uh, just kind of want to talk about uh, the litter from a developmental standpoint and kind of show everyone what's going on. So um, I'll let Angie kind of get into mm -hmm. kind of where they're at with ENS and ESI um, and we can kind of go from there. So like Jay said, today is day 16. Um, they are graduating, so uh, every week is a different milestone in their toddler stall. So the uh, whelping bed came out, and that gives them more room to move around and explore. Yeah, <laughs> loosen them off the back. <laughs> um, it's just fun to see everybody's eyes are open. Uh, I did see a little bit of a startle uh, yesterday when I came in, so that means that ear canals are starting to open up. Um, mm -hmm. So today's day 16, it's the last day of the um, structured program. And then the next, like day 17 through week three, they just kind of continue to grow and um, mm -hmm. we snuggle them, but um, it's just kind of like a little holding period. So for today, they will get their final um, ENS. So they're held upright for five seconds. And this one's really content. And down for five seconds. Amazing, they used to struggle. They're also getting bigger, so they almost don't fit my hand. On the back, look at you showing off. <laughs> so at day three, this is not, like they're very new, but they struggle and flop, and like you really have to have your hands on them, even though they fit in your hand. So five seconds on the back, and we stimulate their paws, and they go onto a cold rag for five seconds. So on our cold rag, which I don't have with us at the moment. And then we do our sniff. So today is lemongrass. And um, they get the opportunity. Five happens. seconds, up to 30. Did you see the sigh? Yeah. Yep, the head drops in, the body relaxes. Whoa, he's really in the tin. <laughs> oh, all go. done. <laughs> So that just starts um, while well, the eyes and ears are closed when they're born. It just gives me access to working with um, their scent canal and uh, the ENS helps with blood flow. So it's supposed to help them be more adaptable. And it's just a very, very pivotal point in development. And um, it's one way I get to touch them and interact with them. And it's, it's actually quite special. So. Yeah. And it can be done I love in a positive, it. a positive it's way. It's a positive it experience, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. so we just want to make sure we're doing the best we can founda foundationally just to set these puppies up for success in our families. Yep. And they grow so quickly. So they like, do. So compared to even like last week's video, if you guys check it out, um, you can always hop on um, our past litters and you'll see Cleo, uh, Cleo's litter. Um, as last week, it's probably been about six, seven days since we posted the last litter video with this litter but the difference in size between mm -hmm. last week and this week they were is, in one hand and now we're already to two hands exactly. <laughs> yeah they grow so quick <laughs> they so, do especially at this age it's um it's one of the most important and influential times uh with these pups and um just coming through that you know two to four week range somewhere in mm -hmm. that area um it can be pretty you just have to be careful and decisive on, on what you're doing with these pups, whether it's with handling mm -hmm. um, and introducing different things um, and just making sure there's a better base uh, from a developmental standpoint. And so they're doing great. They're about as content as can be. Mm -hmm. um, Cleo's doing Cleo. She's top um, notch. Yeah, she's top notch. These puppies, I was just telling Jay that uh, they are 16 days and I have not had to wash one of them yeah. from the day of birth so which is amazing oh for an, i mean amazing like they are just they are <laughs> cleaner than if i gave them a bath yeah. <laughs> so no she way. just is very attentive to details which is right down my alley so mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah 
So yeah, that'll kind of wrap things up for today. Just wanted to do a quick update here for you. Um, if anyone on this list has any questions for me, feel free to reach out um, at any point in time. We do plan on doing litter picks um, right when they're about five weeks old. So just a heads up on that. And we're just gonna do that via either FaceTime. Um, the YouTube video will be very informative. Uh, mm -hmm. Just to help you help you out with it from a temperament and personality standpoint, along with size, um, just to get a better feel for each puppy. So, um, if anyone has any questions about that, feel free to reach out to me, of course. And again, thanks for tuning in here to Mountain Dog Companion. If anyone has any questions, reach out, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys next time.